what we've been working on for the past uh, few minutes, we've been uh, trying to set up a separate ability that you can attach to any hero you want. In, in this particular example, we have the Sigma Rock bound to the ability two. So if we use ability two, it'll also store Sigma Rock. Now you could trade this out and you could disable soldier's ability, or you could simply have them both. Let me show you the code real quick. Uh, if we go over to workshop here, we simply have um, init uh, and in here we need to check to see if we have a sigma already in play. If we don't, we're going to create a sigma whenever we hit the melee button. Um, and the sigma is this dummy bot that we spawn in here. We're going to set up to be in the invisible and then we're going to use this new block called attach players. Attach players is going to uh, find um, the sigma and attach it as a child to us as the parent on the host player and then we're going to start facing at a very fast turn rate to basically sync up the player and then we're going to initialize event player variable um, uh, b to be true this will be helpful for the rock ability um, down here we have uh, first uh, we, we got to check to see if um, that variable is true and then we're also going to check to see if we're using the ability um, that we want to have triggered. Um, and we're also going to um, double check this, um, is dummy bot event player equal to false? And we're going to first set, it, set this to false so that we can't multi-trigger until after a set amount of time. And then we're going to, you can experiment with what you want here, but um, all I have, all, the important thing is this code right here, we're going to force the Sigma to press a button and then we're going to wait an amount of time and reset. So um, that's how you cause it to um, the Sigma to use an ability on your behalf and he'll be following you around and be invisible throughout the duration. So that is just a quick recap on what we've done. I'm going to go ahead and share the code so anyone can make um, any adjustments that they want. Um, here's the code. Uh, so if you want to make any adjustments, there's a lot of room for improvement here, but that's probably all I'm going to do in terms of the um, uh, duplicate hero invisible ability thing. So there you go.